today. It's a doubleheader of college football excitement. Now, from the live music capital of the world, Austin, Texas, the Red Raiders of Texas Tech lock horns with the 10th-ranked Texas Longhorn. Major Applewhite and the Horns sit on top of the conference. A Texas Tech victory puts these arch rivals in a neck-and-neck -neck tie. It's a Texas tradition of hard hit. But now, hold on, partner. The eyes of Texas are upon you as Texas Tech and Texas kick off next on Fox Sports Net. And Texas has touched the Longhorns in the locker room. They've touched Freddie Steinmark's picture, and they take to the field as they're set to do battle with the Red Raiders of Texas Tech. And there is a the quarterback for the University of Texas. The much talked about Major Applewhite. The offense of Texas, number one in the Big 12, Applewhite, 20 straight games, over 200 yards, passing the football, and the best way to describe him is a coach on the field. He's done a great job. It was an easy transition because basically the fullback is like a linebacker on offense anyway. So the transition Absolutely. was easy for him. This is the 10th play of the drive for the Longhorns. Second down and 10, closing in on seven and a half left to play in quarter number one. Again, Texas picks up the pressure, wide open, passes complete to Flowers, touchdown Texas! Well, that's number six for Greg Davis, the offensive right. coordinator. Six times this year, he well, scored a touchdown on the opening drive based on the script. You're at Darrell K. Royal Texas Memorial Stadium, a sellout crowd of over 83,000 on hand for a Big 12 showdown, along with Eric Clements and Artie Gigantino. I'm Ron Thulin, and Texas has just scored on this. Applewhite does an excellent job of waiting, 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 and he finds Flowers running away from the coverage. But again, when you get this much time, watch how much time Applewhite has. When you have that much time, you're going to win as a quarterback. You're going to see Flowers up at the top. He makes a move to the inside, breaks back out to the outside. Excellent pass, excellent run after the catch. Touchdown. You know, you look at Flowers, the big sophomore, he ran a 10-1, 100 meters in high school. Now, I'm not real smart, but that's fast. He's a fast football player. And the coaches were worried about his size because he's only 5'9", but he runs so fast, he makes up for any lack of height. And those are the updated standings in the Big 12 North. And Nebraska's got a battle on their hands next week in Boulder, two weeks from now in Boulder. That'll end their season. If they win it, they're going to San Antonio. Monstro Flowers on the reception. The young sophomore out of Dallas, Texas, who was a running back in high school. Also runs a little bit of track. He's a 60-yard sprinter for the Texas track team, the Texas men and women. Great track teams. Not this time, buddy. Not going to get it. Third down and 10. Third down. Look at all these defenders up here, Ron, from Texas Tech around the line of scrimmage. Hard to run inside. And they move up even more. Jonathan Hawkins comes up to the line, and he starts the rush. Applewhite passes complete to Flowers. Ball is loose. They're going to say it was down, and it'll be good enough for a first down. Down to the 36-yard line, first down for Texas. The good news is when you put all these guys up in here, you can't run the ball. The bad news is it puts pressure on these guys to be one-on-one. -on -one. And that time, Kwame Cavill is wide open in the inside. Salas comes across and makes the play, but it puts a lot of pressure on your cornerbacks when you put all those guys, seven guys, eight guys, up around the line of scrimmage. You can't play zone behind it. And that was a great illustration of it. Two wide receivers to the left. Flowers, top of your screen. They're looking for him. They're going for him. They're not getting him. So far, Texas Tech's corners are holding up in terms of the bomb. They haven't given up the big play, and Texas is taking shots at it. And Mac Brown's squad scored on a pass from Major Applewhite. Nardi Gigantino tells us why it happened. Nardi? And one of the things Texas Tech is doing tonight is they're getting eight and nine guys up around the line of scrimmage. And what the weakness is, sometimes it isolates a corner one-on-one -on -one with the wide receiver. And that's what happened on this play. Applewhite goes back to pass, Nunes catches it out, and runs it in for a touchdown. What happens is number 31, Mike Kirk, Kevin Curtis, is of no help because he gets sucked up in trying to play the run. 
And that's what made it 7 to nothing. 14 second quarter points by the Longhorns. A young man with a triple major. How about finance, economic, and management information systems? And right now, Hodges Mitchell's major is in running the football. Over five and a half yards a carry. Texas again putting together a drive. From the 36, Sepple White looking for Flowers. He's got him! Touchdown, Texas! National Car Rental Game Summary. Hodges Mitchell, 166 yards on 30 carries and a touchdown. Major Apple White, 22 of 34. He's thrown for three TDs. And you can see the total yards right now, 422 to 65. Well, Spike tried it once before. It didn't work. Tried it again. It didn't work again. He had a man there, and it looked like it had a shot at being successful. I, I still think... Onside kicks are so much better on artificial surfaces because they bounce better. Mm -hmm. It's a little tough on this great surface here because it's not a hard surface. Sims straight back, rifle in the pass, complete the Flowers. They're saying his knee did hit the ground. Montreal Flowers out of Dallas, Texas, who was a running back in high school. Pickup of 18 on the play. I don't think his knee touched the ground, Artie. You know, the officials are almost always right, and you know what? Up, there it is. He's down. They are absolutely correct on his he knee. He was getting was up. Down. He was getting up. Boy, he's got some moves. He's got some balance. Well, he does. Well, once again, we're seeing the, young, the young arm of the young Chris Sims. Flowers, five catches. He's gone over the century mark in receiving yards. Sims back, firing away. Pass is complete up to the 33-yard line, and again, it is Montreal Flowers. You know, you take a look at Chris Sims, and you watch his throwing form. He drops back. He's big. He's six foot five. He can see down the field. He looks at the ball. He looks at his receiver. He brings the arm up. That's some nice form right there, and that ball comes off of his arm a great velocity. He reminds me of that old Chicago Bear quarterback, Bobby Douglas. It's weeknights at 6 p.m. on Fox Sports Net. Check your local listings. And Victor Ike, a good-looking running back who's been injured. And they are glad to have him back in the backfield. Bowie High School here in Austin. First and 10 from the 22. Sims. Pass is complete. Again to Flowers. Already with a couple of touchdown catches. Working on Brian Giddens on that left quarterback spot. That'll be the next bendy combination in the Big 12 here. Sims to Flowers. There's no question where he's looking. He puts the ball right back on the money. Flowers goes up. Does a good job of catching the ball, bringing the ball down inside. The Texas Longhorns will step a two-game losing streak to the Red Raiders of Texas Tech as they lead it 51-7 in that number 10 ranking. They will go inside of that, obviously, when the new rankings are announced tomorrow for Mac Brown. And that's going to do it. Texas will be going to San Antonio the first week of December for the Big 12 championship game against either Nebraska or Kansas State. They have clinched at least a share of the Big 12 South title with a convincing 58-7 victory over Tech. Artie, that was a great defensive game for Texas. Texas's defense was dominant, but needless to say, tonight. Major Applewhite obviously engineers this offense. So that's it from Austin, Texas, where the final score is Texas 58, Texas Tech 7. Up next on Fox Sports Net, a Pac-10 battle between Arizona and Oregon State. For Artie Gigantino and Eric Clemens, I'm Ron Thulin. College football Saturday has been a presentation of Fox Sports Net.